Task 3.4 is purchase. In this task, we will record a few transactions of purchase, for example, purchase invoice, purchase return, and cash purchase. Now, let's record the first transaction, which is purchase invoice. You may choose either you want to go under purchase, purchase invoice, or you may choose to go to purchase invoice shortcut icon. Now, if you uh, left click, it will go straight forward to the transaction which is you can record the transaction directly or if you right click it will bring to the purchase invoice layout so you have to click the new button to add the transaction now let's record the first transaction to supplier a enter supplier invoice number which is 1212 the date is 2nd of next following month which is november now, click the plus sign to bring out the column. In this transaction, we involve three items. So, you may choose either you want to bring the column one by one or straightforward bring all the three columns together. Now, let's choose the first item which is item number one. Now, when you want to select the item, you may choose either you want to do one column by one column or you want to choose all the item code first then following by enter the quantity. Let's follow the item code. The second one is item number two, and the last one is item number three. Now let's enter the quantity. For the first item is 50 unit, same quantity for the second item, and for the last item also 50 unit. Let's check on the tax code. By default, as you can see, it's already in B enter with PS6 by the system. Now, this tax code is actually captured from the setting that we have set in our tax code maintainer in the previous chapter. For your information, in the previous task, we already generated a few stock items and we already assigned with their special code. For your information, the special code that we have assigned is to supply tax code. And this is purchase tax code. So that's why for purchase tax code, still follow default in tax code maintenance. But later when we do the transaction of sales, it will follow the default that we set in the stock item. Even though it's already set by default, you still can change the, ta the tax code accordingly. Now for the first item, supposed to be P10 for purchase tax 10%. The second item also P10. This one you have to refer to the supplier stock item. So for the last item is P5 for purchase tax 5%. Now let's check the total. For the first item, the total is 4950 ringgit, 3850 ringgit for the following item, and the last item is 2100 ringgit. So the total is 10,900. So before we click on save, Please check for proceed new purchase invoice since we have another two purchase invoice need to record. Now click on save. The supplier DO number was missing. Do you still want to save? Yes. Purchase invoice already been saved at the back. Now let's record the second transaction to supplier B. The supplier invoice number is 6699 and the date is 4 or following month. Now click the plus sign to bring out the column. For this transaction, we we'll involve with two items, which is item number four and item number five. Let's enter the quantity one unit for one unit for item number four and one unit for item number five. So let's enter the service item. Since service item we only record on the standard selling price. So this is the, the service that has been charged from supplier B to us. So we record the service charge by supplier B is 200. For the first item which is item number 4, the tax code is now. So you may click on clear button. And the second item, which is service, is PS6, 12 ringgit. So total has been charged by supply B is 
112 ringgit. So once you done, click on save. Supplier DO number was missing. Still want to save? Yes. And record the last transaction. Let's record the last transaction of purchase invoice. Is true supplier C. The supplier invoice number is 3434. The date is 5th of next following month. Now click the plus sign. For this purchase invoice, will involve with three item. So enter three column. Item code number one is item number one. The second one will be item number two. And the last one will be item number three. Now once you already done, select all the three item. Enter the quantity 50 unit for each item. For this transaction or purchase invoice to our supplier C, will not involve with any tax code. So you have to clear the tax code. And it's supposed to be now. So click on the tax code and click on clear. And for the last one also the same. So there's no tax has been charged to our purchase from supplier C. And the total will be 10,000 ringgit. So once you have done, Please uncheck Proceed New Purchase Invoice and click on Save. The supplier DO was missing. Do you still want to save? Yes. So all three transaction of purchase invoice has been recorded. Click on Close. The second transaction will be Purchase Return. So you may click on the Purchase Return shortcut since we only have one transaction involved. The purchase return will be from creditor supplier A and you must remember when you record either sales or purchase whatever transaction next must be transfer the document. So for this purchase return will be transfer from purchase invoice. You may click on transfer from purchase invoice and automatic system will list down all the item. So you may choose either you want to do full document transfer. If you choose full document transfer, it means you want to return all the items that we have been purchased from supplier A. And if you choose partial item transfer, you may choose which item you want to refund or return back to supplier A. Now the item that we're going to return is item number one, which is two unit. And also item number three, which is one unit. So once you already enter the quantity, you may click on OK. Before you check, please enter the supplier CN number, which is CN-1212. The supplier invoice number will be automatic capture once you already transfer from purchase invoice. Now change the date. The date will be on 10 of next following month, which is November. So let's check on our item. The quantity is 2 unit for item number 1 and 1 unit for item number 3. And the unit price is 90 for item number 1 and 40 for item number 3. And the tax total is 20 ringgit. So total of this return is 240 ringgit. You may enter the reason is spoil item. So once you have done, click on save. The purpose we do the transfer from purchase invoice so that when you go to AP and check under AP credit note, you will see the entry that we record in the purchase return will be automatic posting into AP credit note. And if you double click or click on view, you will see this transaction of return already be not off with the amount that we have enter or select from the stock item that we returned just now, which is 240 ringgit. That is the crucial when we transfer the document. If you don't do the transfer document and you record as a, as a separate transaction, you will see that this part will not know off. And, 
and automatic when you want to generate your SSD processor later, the system will capture for unapplied amount because the return has not been knocked off. So you must be careful when you do either under sales credit note or purchase refund. Now let's go back to our transaction. Let's go to the main screen. The last transaction is cash purchase. You may choose either you want to go to purchase, cash purchase, or you may go to the shortcut of cash purchase. Now click on shortcut cash purchase. The creditor will be supplier B. The supplier invoice number is 5656 and the date is 11 of next following month. Click the plus sign to add a column. The item will be item number 1 and the quantity is 4 unit. Now for this purchase, the supplier B has increased the price from the original uh, unit cost which is to 95 ringgit each unit. So that's why the subtotal is 380 ringgit. And for this, cash purchase is inclusive. So you must check for inclusive so that the total of 380 ringgit already include with the tax of 21 ringgit 51 cent. And this cash purchase, the payment method is by cash. So you may click on the cash button. The spire DO was missing, do you still want to save? This is optional, you may just click on yes. Now you may enter 380 ringgit manually under the cash column to do the full payment or you may click on F5 to do the full payment and automatic system will save for you. And that's all for task 12.4.